Hello guys, how are you? Today in our English lesson we have the conditionals. So we are going to study the zero conditional and the first conditional. What is the zero conditional? The zero conditional is used to make statements about the real world and often refers to general truths, such as scientific facts. In this sentence, the time is now or always and the situation is real and possible. That means that we are 100% that this is true and this is real. All the time we need to use present simple at the beginning and at the end present simple. Entonces chicos, el condicional. Recuerden que el condicional en español es como un sí. Si hago esto, tengo un resultado de otra cosa, ¿cierto? En este caso para el condicional cero, siempre, siempre usamos presente simple al inicio y al final. ¿Qué tenemos que tener en cuenta con el presente simple? Recuerden que en el presente simple afirmativo se cambia el verbo con he, con she y con it. Y si estamos haciendo oraciones negativas, usamos el don't y el doesn't. Para doesn't usamos he, she y it. So let's continue. There are some examples. For example, if you freeze water, it becomes a solid. If you don't eat, you die. Plants die if they don't get enough water. If my husband has a cold, I usually catch it. If public transport is efficient, people stop using their cars. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. ¿Qué es lo importante aquí, chicos? Si vemos acá, se está usando presente simple y el resultado también está en presente simple. ¿De acuerdo? Acá tenemos el don't. If you don't eat, entonces, como resultado, pues ya sabemos qué sucede cuando no comemos. Acá quiero que tengan en cuenta que el if va al inicio, sin embargo, también podemos ponerlo al final. Plants die if they don't get enough water. También es posible. ¿Listo? Entonces, ¿qué acción pasa cuando congelamos el agua? Obviamente se convierte en un sólido. ¿Listo? ¿Qué pasa cuando las plantas no reciben suficiente agua? Mueren, ¿correcto? Entonces son statements, es decir, oraciones que son 100% reales. So we are going to watch a video to practice. Acá están los condicionales, lo que acabamos de explicar. So, all the time, simple present, simple present. Use general truths, habits, real world and scientific facts. Examples, if it rains, the ground gets wet. ¿Qué sucede si llueve? Entonces ya el piso pues se moja. If I cry, I have a headache. ¿Qué sucede cuando lloramos? Da dolor de cabeza. If you mix yellow and blue, you get green. If you are tired, you go to bed early. If you leave the object, it drops. If you pour oil on water, it floats. If you smoke, you get old early. And if you leave the object, it drops. Let's see the video about the zero conditional. What is a conditional sentence? A conditional sentence is a sentence you use to express about a cause and effect. That's it. Bye-bye. Just kidding. But, to be real, there are many types of conditionals, but the first type that we will learn here is the zero conditional. The formula is if or when, simple present verb, then... What is important in the zero conditional? Also, we can replace it with when. En el zero condicional es el único condicional que podemos reemplazar el if por el when. Es para que lo tengan en cuenta. Let's continue. Simple present verb. But what is it used for, you ask? You use zero conditionals to express facts, rules, and things that are 100% true. So, for example, check out this sentence. If you heat ice, it melts. Is this a scientific fact? Will the effect happen 100% if the cause happens? Then this is a zero conditional sentence. Let's try another example. This time, let's play a game. Let's play tic-tac-toe. 
If you get three crosses in a row, or three O's in a row, then you win. If you can't, then you lose. These are the rules, and this is also a zero conditional. So, these are examples of zero conditional sentences. You can use zero conditional sentences for facts and rules. Can you make examples of zero conditional sentences? Write them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to click to subscribe for more English grammar tips. Okay, so that was the example of the first condition. Let's continue. So that was the example of the first conditional. Now we are going to see the first conditional. That was the zero conditional, so let's continue. What is the first conditional? What is that? So the first conditional, in the zero conditional, we are 100% sure. In the first conditional, we are 90% sure. So the first conditional has the present simple after if, then the future simple in the other clause. So we have present simple and will. Used to talk about things which might happen in the future. Of course, we can know what will happen in the future, but this describes possible things which could easily come true. For example, if it rains, I won't go to the park. ¿Qué es importante en el primer condicional? No vamos a saber el futuro. Sin embargo, hay una probabilidad muy alta de que esto pase, esto suceda. So let's see some examples. If it rains, I won't go to the park. If I study today, I'll go to the party tonight. If I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. She'll be late if the train is delayed. She'll miss the bus if she doesn't leave soon. If I see her, I'll tell her. For example, here. Cuando tenemos el if es cuando usamos el presente simple. Y después usamos el will. O en este caso la negación que es want. I'll go to the party tonight if I have enough money. Okay. For example, if I have enough money, I'll buy some new shoes. Recordemos que este I'll es la contracción del will, ¿de acuerdo? Y también, ¿qué puede suceder? Que al inicio esté el if o posteriormente esté el if. So let's watch a video. If you throw a ball in the air, it falls back down. If you pour water onto a fire, it gets put out. These are sentences that are called conditional sentences. These particular sentences are zero conditionals. Let's look at another type of conditional sentence. First conditionals. First conditionals are used to explain about conditions that have a real possibility of happening in the future. It's not 100% sure, but there is a big chance that it will happen. Let's look at an example. If I study hard, I'll pass the test. Is there a chance for me to pass the test if I study hard? Yes. Can this happen? Yes. Does it mean my passing is 100% guaranteed? No. But the test is a very likely thing that can happen. And that is a first conditional sentence. It has the structure of if plus present tense clause will present tense clause. Now for another example. So, you just woke up, and looking outside the window, you see grey clouds. You say to yourself, if it rains, I'll go back to sleep. Or, you can also say, I will go back to sleep if it rains. Is this situation possible? Yes. Will this situation happen 100%? No. So, that's pretty much what a first conditional is. It's to talk about things that have a high chance of happening. Now, you try and make a first conditional sentence in the comment section below. Okay, guys. So, now what do we need to do? Practice. We need to practice. So, let's see this. 
This is about zero conditional. Zero conditional. So, it says, when you press the button, the doorbell rings. Yes, that's zero conditional. I will give you a lift if the weather is bad. No way. If we have the wheel, it's not zero conditional. When you go to the park, take your ball. That's the zero conditional. If I had woken up early, I could have taken the bus. No way, that's not zero conditional. When fish don't eat enough, they die. Yes, that's zero conditional. When he buys chocolate, he buys me some too. Yes, that's zero conditional. If you write to me, I'll, I will reply. No, that's not zero conditional. So, now let's practice with will. I mean, the first conditional. So we are going to practice. Okay, I'm going to repeat the ex exercise. Remember that when you have the if, is when you need to use the present simple. So if you repair my bike, I will help you. It will be too hot if he, here we need to use the present simple. If he travels, if Peter, so present simple, sits, will sit. The policeman tells you, oh, wait a minute, there is the if. So here we need to use will. If it, present simple, as notes in the Alps, it will rain. I will lend you my laptop if you promise to be careful with it. If you add will taste. If Tom pulls, he will open. If I find, I will take. And we will get lost if we forget the tone map. Let's see it. Okay, so that was everything about the conditionals. I need you to continue practicing, but thank you very much for your attention.